In this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to be covering rectilinear motion with derivatives. Now, the first thing I'd like to say about this is don't try to think too deeply about the word rectilinear motion. Basically, what it means is we're trying to find a relationship between the distance, the velocity, or the speed of something, and its acceleration. What is the relationship between those three quantities? And unsurprisingly, based on our title, they are related through the derivative. Now, I have an example here. I have a graph. And let's say that this is a graph of a person going for a Sunday walk. So we have the distance that this person has walked over a course of time. And you can see that after about one hour, the person has walked two miles. So they're not walking too fast. And then they really slow down and they get walk the third, takes them one hour to walk the third mile. Then on the way back, they walk at their normal pace. They stop at somebody's house for a little while and then they get back home five hours later. So this is just how far they've walked at any given time. It's a plot. So how fast are they going at any given time? Well, we've kind of already read into this a little bit. They walked on average maybe two miles an hour for the first hour and then one mile an hour for the second hour. So not only is this person going like painfully slow, but you know, their speed is changing. So if I ask you, what is speed? You're going to say it's the average distance traveled over a given interval of time. And this kind of makes sense. 40 miles per hour is 40 miles in one hour. But we can go a little bit better than this. Let's say, okay, so our velocity or our speed is delta x divided by delta t. Well, doesn't this look really familiar? How about dt or dx over dt? This is a derivative. If you take the derivative of your distance with respect to time, you get the velocity. So let me clear all this out of the way. The derivative with respect to time of the distance is the velocity. Once again, or speed. The reason we use the term velocity Velocity is speed with direction, and because your derivative can be a positive or a negative, it tells you whether you're coming or going. So velocity is a little bit more technical of a term, but in a lot of situations, it's okay for you to assume that this is speed. But it's a little bit more than this. It's instantaneous. Velocity. Because, for example, if we take a look... Over the course of this five hours, this person travels out three miles, but then they come back. So their average velocity is zero. They haven't gone anywhere. They came back to where they started. But that doesn't make any sense. Well, this person was walking about two miles an hour. Here, they're working about, walking about one mile per hour here. And say in hour four, they're at somebody's house, so they're not going anywhere. So it's an instantaneous velocity, but from now on, if anybody gives you a graph of somebody's position measured against time, you can always figure out how fast they're going at any time. Now we're going to get into the last piece of this, which is acceleration. And then after we do this, uh, we're going to go on and do practice problems in a lot of the other videos so you can learn the impact of this. Acceleration. Acceleration is the change in speed over a change in time. So think about this when you're in your car. If you're at a stop sign, you're not going anywhere. But then you see that nobody else 
is there so you go from zero miles per hour and you're going to increase your speed until you get up to the speed limit which is say 30 miles per hour so let's say you change 30 miles per hour and you accelerate over the course of 10 seconds you have an acceleration of 3 miles per hour per second so each second you're increasing your speed by 3 miles per hour this is again it's a derivative it's the change in velocity with respect to time so not only can we figure out on this graph here how fast the person's going we can figure out at any particular time you know, whether or not they're increasing their speed or not and of course your change in velocity with respect to time is also the second derivative of your distance with respect to time and that all equals your acceleration All right, enough with stuff like this. Let's uh, get into a really quick example. Write some of this stuff here. Let's say that we have a parabola. So somebody is traveling Let's say the distance that somebody is walking is given by the equation x squared. So after two hours, the person has walked four miles. After one hour, the person has walked one mile. So let's find out how fast the person is going after one hour. And also, let's figure out how much the person is accelerating after one hour. So again, we know that this is related through our derivative. So we'll find the first derivative of x, which is 2x. So this is velocity with respect to time. Oh, by the way, uh, typically s is used for distance. Although I kind of like using d for distance. So s of t is our distance with respect to time. Although, to be fair, now I should be using t's instead of x's. And then if we take the second derivative of s, we get the acceleration at any given time. So now let's figure out our velocity at one hour. And that's equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. So this person is moving at 2 miles per hour after 1 hour. Their acceleration is going to be 2 times, well, it's going to be 2, it's a constant, 2 miles per hour per hour. And now we can also go on and find the velocity after 2 hours. So we got V of 2 is 2 times 2. This person is now walking at 4 miles per hour. And guess what? This fits. Our acceleration at 1 hour was 2 miles per hour. One hour later, we're going 2 miles per hour faster, which is exactly the results we were expecting. So this was a very simple example of rectilinear motion. It may not be very illustrative. We're going to do lots of practice problems on this so and connect it to some real-world examples. This is something that's actually really useful. In fact, law enforcement use this fact when they write you speeding tickets sometimes. So, Good things to know.